Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about if statement. Let's begin. Now with if statement, you can check a condition and execute an instruction. So some of the examples of these conditions are a status of a switch or perhaps a temperature of a sensor. So depending on the conditions of this device, we can write a value to a variable. Let's construct this treatment to understand how it works. So to begin, we can type if and then press enter. And you can see a keyword and if will come up. So everything that we write in between here will be the content of the statement. So the simplest form of the statement consists of condition. So in this case, the condition that we can use is basically our digital input one. And write a then and the next thing is an instruction so the instruction is to write a value to our digital output one okay so remember to compile and go online okay so in this example we are telling our plc to check if our digital input one is true if the condition has been fulfilled then we can go ahead and write a value true to our output so again because the condition has not been fulfilled yet so now i can try to trigger the input and write the value and you can see that my output will be true but we have a problem in here because we only tell the logic to write the value true to our output if the input is being triggered but we didn't tell the logic what to do if this condition is not being triggered so if i go back to false and you can see that my output remains true so what we can do about it so we can add else okay and of course remember to do this one okay and with else we can tell the code what to do if the input is not being triggered so in this case, you can go back to false. Remember to compile. Okay, now I can try again to trigger my input. And it will be true. But if I trigger it to false again, and you can see my output will be false. So let's move to our next sample. So besides checking the status of a switch, like what we did in here, you can also do a comparison. So in these examples, we are comparing the temperature of our variable temp uh, in conjunction with the operators. So what we do is basically we are telling the code to check if the temperature is below 17. So if it's below 17, then our heating on will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. So now, of course, the condition has been fulfilled. Uh, therefore, our output heating on is true. But if I try to write a value which is above 70, I can write 18 and write the value and you can see that the heating on will be false. So if you need to use a comparison of a temperature, you can use an operator. So of course there are many different operators. In order for you to access them, you can press F2 
and you can see all of the operators that you can use and I will put a link uh, on the description for you to be to refer this so in the next examples we also have a multiple conditions so this is more complex um, statement so in this case we are checking if the temperature is below 17 if it's below 17 our B heating on will be true however you see that we have else if so with L if you are able to add a second conditions of the logic so in this case if this one let me just write it down here condition one if it's not being fulfilled the code will try to look for condition two so it will check whether the condition two will be fulfilled right so if it's above 25 then the bit open window will be true and we have the last one which is else so if none of above being fulfilled then our heating on will be false and our bit open window will be false so let's try to go online and see how it works so now of course because um, our temperatures f temperature is below 17 so our bit heating on will be true and you can also see it from here and now I will try to increase the temperature to be more than 25 so let's put a value in here now we have 25 26 okay and you can see that now because our F temp has become 26 which is above 25 which is our second condition I'm really sorry about that so it's the second condition is actually here okay don't be confused um, so now our second condition has been fulfilled now our bit open window will be true okay but if none of this is being fulfilled what will happen is basically it will go to the third instruction which is to turn off our bit heating on and turn off our bit open window so now I will try to change the temperature so that it goes to the third instruction so we can put maybe 18 okay now you can see that none of them is being fulfilled I hope this helps you to understand how if statement works I will put a link down below for you to read more on this so i hope to see you again thank you